Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Matthias. I'm the communications lead at Mimimi Games. Welcome to the Mimimi streaming headquarters. <laughs> and with me is Cem. Um, yeah, Cem, maybe you can introduce yourself. Hi, guys. My name is Cem. I'm the uh, animation lead here at uh, Mimimi Games. Um, I worked on uh, Last Tinker, Shadow Tactics, so uh, and Desperados, of course. Basically, on every game, almost. No? Most of I them. I mean, yeah. you're you're with the from team the beginning. from the beginning, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and today we're gonna play <laughs> Desperados, obviously, because um, I heard there's an anniversary for the whole Desperados franchise. It's How twenty many? years. Twenty years. 20 years of Desperados. Um, wow. First Desperados came out in 2001. Uh, I think April 20th or something like that. So I, it's I don't know the exact date. It's, ex it's almost wow. exactly 20 years now. So, and yeah, we're gonna have a franchise sale on Steam. Mm. Um, and yeah, we thought let's play some Desperados and sure. talk about the development a bit maybe and mm. You played Desperados back then also, right? Yeah, so that, that makes me really old, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I played the original, I think it was uh, most, or how was it called? Desperados, Most Wanted, Dead or Alive. Something wanted, like Dead that. or Alive. Then. Wanted, that was it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was, I don't know, maybe 14? I have to guess now. I don't, but my uncle came uh, to us and, and he had a, a German magazine called mm. Computerspielspiele ah, yeah, and nice. there was a, a CD-ROM with games, a lot of games in it and one of them was Desperados and at that time it was really difficult to play for me like I, I only played the first three, four levels but started over and over again uh, every time I played it a lot and I played it again uh, uh, when we did uh, shadow tactics for ah, research for purposes. Research. I see, I see. Yeah. But um, yeah. Nice. So yeah, let's celebrate <laughs> the <laughs> anniversary by sure. like, let's play the Eagle's Nest. It's a, I think a very popular and famous mm -hmm. level uh, because it's in the first game, it's even in the second game yeah. and now in our game. So um, yeah. People I think are quite fond of this level. I think um, it's one of the favorite levels, and I think the final level in the first game. I, d I don't remember really, but in the f no, in the first game, it's actually there are like uh, two missions ah. in Eagle's Nest. There's like a day and a night mission, but they're like I think it's like level ten and then level like it's somewhere in the middle of middle and near the end of mm. the game, not like the the last mission. Ah, but it's like the last mission in our. Um, DLC, DLC mm. of the main game. Um, so yeah, maybe let's jump in. Sure. And yeah, while we play, I'll just ask you a couple of questions. Should I change the difficulty? <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever you feel like comfortable with. I think you shouldn't go over normal probably. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the best in talking and playing. Yeah, so me maybe either. I choose beginner. And I am. Yeah, maybe just do beginner, and yeah. then we'll see if it's too easy for you. We can still like yeah. ramp up the difficulty. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah, uh, we also have a raffle actually. So if you want to win a collector's edition, where is it? It's behind you actually. Ah, there it is. Um, you can, I think we put it also down there somewhere in the screen in the left. It's more. more um, so you head over to desperadosgame.com and there you f you'll find the terms and conditions um, mm -hmm. how to participate in the raffle. So you can win a collector's edition, uh, which includes, if you like, turn it that way, ah. like a spinning music box, pretty cool, with all the main characters, um, uh, with like exchangeable figurines of the art characters. Book, soundtrack. Soundtrack is in there. Um, art, an art book is in there. Mm -hmm. um, postcards. Postcards. Yeah. The DLC is also in there, so you get the main game and the DLC. Let's put it right here. Yeah. And then also, what you can also win is um, here, uh, the vinyl, the soundtrack on vinyl actually, which is pretty cool. Um, the soundtrack is made by Filippo, mm, our, music uh, guy. 
our music guy. <laughs> He's been also with the team since the beginning, almost probably, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> he all he we met him in, in, in university. Ah, yeah. Yeah, he did, right. I think, the Tinker soundtrack, the Shadow yes. Tactics soundtrack, all of and them. now the amazing Desperado <laughs> soundtrack. So on vinyl, pretty cool. I have it at home, too. It's pretty dope. And what you can also win, I think, is uh, here, one of those um, displays. So here we have, like, a John Cooper wow. display, which you can, like, put on your wall. It's pretty cool. And then also, a very here. special thing, it's um, the smallest collector's edition in the world. I never so it's seen basically, this before. Yeah, you can um, open it. But uh, Anna said it's broken a bit maybe because it's it fell down. <laughs> so you get a broken <laughs> No, 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 you don't get this one, you get the new one. <laughs> but it's wow. basically this collector's edition in a very, s like a, a very small <laughs> version of it. Okay, that's great. <laughs> that's the <What>? poster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... So wow. we have a, I'll, I'll cover the code so you wow. don't steal um, the code here. Um, so yeah, you have like a very small wanted poster okay. of the characters. Wow. It also <laughs> like a very small art book. It's basically the art book which you wow. have in the collector's edition, but as like super small version. <laughs> That's great. Maybe yeah. I can show it, like put it in. Uh, yeah. Maybe you. Wow. Nice. Oh, there are some bullets in here. And ah, maybe I'll change to the real quick to the um, our room screen because otherwise they don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> so just again, so you can win the vinyl or one of those disc plates or the big collector's edition with oh, the game, small. the figurines and everything. Oh, that's broken. Okay. I yeah, that's it. broke. And then also you can win, uh, you have the chance to win the smallest collector's edition. That's real leather. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Maybe we can show later again. Can I get one of these? <laughs> we don't. It's v oh, yeah. Good that you mentioned that. It's very limited. So no. So no. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> it's only for fans. <laughs> can I get this broken one? <laughs> That's really cool. The smallest. This one is like at, in Johannes' office. Ah. So yeah, let's jump into the game. Let's uh, sure. I already started the level. Yes. Yeah, we can. Um, I think. Can I skip it? Yeah, skip it. So for <laughs> you, <laughs> you don't want to like spoil like people, right? Okay. So it's one of the last missions of the DLC, and it's the famous Eagle's Nest mission. Um, so Desperado fans will recognize it right away. So let's. And yeah, let's see how Chem <laughs> plays this. I have never seen him play the game, I think. <laughs> it's so been a long time because yeah. I only play the game during uh, development. So mm -hmm. after the release, I never really play the games again. Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah. It's something I don't do because we, we play the game a lot. Yeah, yeah, of course. We play the game like hundreds of hours yeah, of course. again and again. I mean, I joined the team like in the end phase of mm. the development and I played it a lot already too. So I can imagine that you played it probably like <laughs> two, three hundred hours or more. Like in the in the two, three years, how, how long um, did you work on Desperados in total? Like it was three I years. Think three and a half? Maybe? Three and a half even. Yeah. I'm not even sure. I see. Okay. I have to think about that. So um, maybe let's let's explain the game a bit. Like sure. um, for every for, for the people who like maybe just joined and they never like played like a real time tactics game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's like that's the genre. Yeah. Uh, which was basically founded by Commandos back yeah. then, right? And then with Desperados, mm -hmm. it had like another smash hit. So. Um, so it's a real-time tactics game. Yes. Like what does what does it mean, or like what, what what is the goal, or what do you do in that game? Like I think the the most iconic thing is uh, this green view cone here. I think Commandos invented this genre. Really, mm -hmm. um, it's also a favorite game of uh, of mine, bec and I played also the original one back then. Yeah. Um, and Desperados follows in that footstep. Uh, with that unique view cone. So the view cone is uh, ob obviously the view cone of this selected enemy, and you can't walk in there. So the bright green part here. Ah, okay. You will get the. He will always see you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you are crouched. 
or so stand around. I see. So it's it's a lot about stealth. Yeah. Like you you try it's to be stealthy. It's a top-down isometric yeah. stealth game. Yeah. With um, <laughs> and you like try to basically you try to get past or sneak mm -hmm. past the enemies yeah. or like you can kill them or you can knock them out. Yeah. That's but you wanna that's like avoid detection because then it's then that's it gets steamy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beauty of the game. You, there are so many ways to to yeah. get past these guards. You can kill them. You can walk by, you can go right, r you can go okay. this way, you can go that way. You can. There are so many solutions mm -hmm. for each of these setups. Mm -hmm. And nice. that's the beauty of the game. And you play like a gang of five, I think, characters? There are five characters, yes. Like, um, and they have different skills. And you can basically, there's a lot of synergies also between the characters. Mm -hmm. You can like do like basically combos, right? And then like execute your tactics or strategies like um oh you got the yeah so yeah, what's that oh yeah they saw your footsteps yeah right? yeah they saw the footsteps oh no what he can go in there oh no <laughs> okay and i don't okay that's oh. how you not do it <laughs> yeah we, that so <laughs> that was my i think what's, I what's important to, to mention <laughs> like you can also pause the game with the showdown <laughs> mode right so let's try that with the showdown mode um maybe you can like show it um you can like pause the game and then um, you can combine the actions of the characters. Mm -hmm. You can like take your time, think ahead and then combine the different skills and then execute all at once. That's something we added to this mm -hmm. genre, I think. That's one of the uh, additions we made. Um, because like I said, Desperados, Commandos, these games are real time tactics yeah. games and they were really difficult. Mm -hmm. And we uh, thought about uh, a feature that uh, makes people more like the the entrance to this genre more easy yeah. you know so they can try something out and mm -hmm. the most part of the game is try an arrow and mm -hmm. that's 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 a part of the game that's nothing bad yeah. you know in other games you feel bad if you fail yeah. but we wanted uh, the player to feel good and try out try yeah. different things yeah. and enjoy the game this way yeah, nice. that's something different from other games mm -hmm. And of course, this uh, feature. Uh, let's let's show them. Yeah. The feature, I think. Oh God, controller. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's the D-pad up. Up. <laughs> yeah. Ah, that's the mode. So the game freezes. That's so cool. Yeah. And now I can. You can like plan with Cooper. I basically. can walk around. Uh, so you can tell like Cooper go there, and then when you execute execute plan, he does right. Yeah. He does now he walks over okay. there. When I execute the plan. I don't have to execute right away. Oh, you can so wait. So I can wait. Mm -hmm. Let's let's save uh, first, and then I can execute plan. And now he walks over, but it's I can al always like uh, break it up mm -hmm. and walk away. Uh, but that's the that's the planning mode. Maybe we will show it again with when we have yeah. uh, more characters and do a so <laughs> multiple <laughs> so action. Maybe let's try to. Uh, we have to save Hector. He's like a yeah. friend of Cooper's. That's the uh, objective of this level. First, we save Hector. Yeah, we have to save uh, basically the team, right? I think there are four yeah, in total, yeah. right? So, um, yeah, let's try to save Hector. And I think it's a good example of how the game works because. Mm. Whoa, um, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. You have basically an overwhelming number of enemies you have to get past, right, to, to so save them. bad at this. And you really have to think carefully and, like, we have uh, reevaluate your options like all the time, mm -hmm. like so. Um, it's very tactical, but it's very fun, I think, because it's a bit like a puzzle. Sometimes mm -hmm. you want to solve. It feels like a puzzle, but but it can also be like very like action yeah. focused too. So most of the time, if they detect you, that's <laughs> that's the. Action I mean, you part. can <laughs> still like shoot your shoot yourself like your way out, right? You can, you can, but that's nothing. A stealth game wants yeah, to do, or that's nothing I want to do in yeah. a stealth game. But you have the option to do so, yeah. and that's something I can. Uh, I think it's it's great for players they uh, who um, want to shoot their way out. Okay, Tim. No, let's try to do something here. Talk and play. <laughs> that's a very. I think that's very difficult, right? Okay. I I can do it. So <laughs> maybe you should play, and I ask. <laughs> I, I can't tell like okay, so much about it. Okay, let's try it. I mean, that's like it's that's the show, right? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It's like playing under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Never did this before. So let's try this. Oh no, that not this way. Maybe this way. Okay. Oh yeah, you have to like So he can't see me in this dark area. Yeah, but you have to be careful yeah, because that's the sound it. radius, right? They will hear yeah. it. Now I can Nice. And, and important part is um, hide the bodies, hide right the away. bodies mm. because uh, the other guys here they patrolling around and they, they will, will see the body the and then corpse, it's yeah. yeah they will sound the alarm then right and then there are That's more guard even more guards you have to be yeah you have, have to, to like avoid that yeah, yeah. Okay, now. now I'm I, I, I saved again that's mm. also important part quick save quick load to to achieve that feeling you can try everything and trial and error you have to uh, but it's i think it's less trial error we're like it's more it gives like the players it doesn't punish the player for like trying things out he doesn't like have to wait long yeah loading time. so you can just try something out and then like try something different mm -hmm. just quick save quick load and it's i think less about trial and error much more about basically like i can try hey, something yeah and then oh and, that and you don't have to feel bad about it because yeah. you're like oh and there um, yeah it's not even like two like seconds three three seconds two, maybe three seconds, yeah, yeah. okay max. okay let's try to save i think we won't get past this point today because we only have like about an hour okay <laughs> so i think our goal will be to save hector at least mm -hmm. <laughs> let's kill this guy first nah. nice. come on no 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 you will oh yeah did it. I made it, I think. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! So, oh, safe, safe. So, I are you like just yourself a fan of Desperados? You said you played it, and I think Dom played it. I think Dom is the biggest fan in our yeah. team, but I'm also a big fan, and a lot of guys in the team uh, are big fans of this genre of Commandos of yeah. Desperados. So, how how did it happen that you? got your hands on, on on the franchise like i mean you made shadow tactics yeah i think the big part was uh, we, we made shadow tactics we de mm. uh, developed the game like this and uh, in in the university dom had the idea like a stealth game like commandos should be made with ninjas because ninjas are stealth yeah. and we made shadow tactics after university and uh, Shadow Tactics was for us a big success uh, uh, to have a game like that. And then uh, THQ approached us. Oh, I okay. think um, you have to ask that YoYo for details. But um, they approached us and they said, hey, uh, you uh, revived this genre um, um, uh, for yeah so, so long time. This genre is yeah, it was basically most of the dead, people. Right? Yeah, yeah, they said that that genre is, should be yeah, dead yeah. or is dead. And we, 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 we w revived that genre and they said hey maybe you can uh, use our ip and that's like yeah. a dream coming true desperados like i played like a little boy desperados the audio and now i'm making the next desperados that's something <laughs> that's amazing i never i never had the idea like to yeah, make a yeah original very cool remake wow i have goosebumps oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay that was the guy you see we, are here. we are very passionate about mm. our product here that's important i think mm -hmm. and most of our project like you always uh, finding something that's inspiring you or the motivating you yeah. uh, to do so there are some parts i'm not a big cowboy fan but i'm yeah. a big desperados fan yeah. so you have your 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 spots that yeah. inspire you yeah. and make you make nice. good games kitchen let's try this yeah <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I think the cool thing is, you know, all this information about the development is pretty cool. I think you oh. got it. Yeah, nice. I got it. You don't have to hide this one, no? Yeah. There is no guard around. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So we have like those two and then one guy. Ah, no, two guys up there. Oh, there oh, is a third guy. Okay. That's also. That's like the easy one difficulty. Really? Yeah. That's why you had oh. so much. Like you almost <laughs> got discovered, but like you had a lot of time to mm. actually like ah, hide that's before. Yeah, okay, it that's the difference. Before the view cone. But um, I thought reaches easy difficulty is more like how many enemies are walking around and no, stuff like it's that. No, it's more about like how long it takes them to detect you and stuff mm. like that. So you, like the game is very generous on easy. Um, so 
if you're not very fami familiar with the genre, but you still think, hey, this is a cool game, I want to check it out, um, you can still play on easy and just like, you know, yeah, enjoy just the like game. enjoy the game and learn, and then you can like ramp up the difficulty a bit. Okay. The most tricky part are these two. Because this enemy type here, the big guy, With he's, the I can't, I can't, uh, you can distract him and stuff. I like can't. I can't distract him, I can't kill him with Cooper. Only yeah, Hector, right. only only Hector, Hector can yeah. kill him, yeah. So I have to avoid him. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, Maybe we can like take out this guy in the back. But oh, there's also like... I have, to, I have to kill this one on yeah. the right before I deal with this, these two. Do you have more questions? Yeah, I have a lot <laughs> of questions here actually. Okay. But, um, let's try. Up, 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 up. Ah, okay. That's safe, of course. So maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I try it this way. Ah, okay. As you can see, I I try to avoid these bright green areas. Yeah, you can um you can um crouch in the striped areas, right? Mm -hmm. And they won't detect you, but when, when you stand up, they they will see you, right? Yeah. Now I'm uh, ah, trying. Ah, you try to lure him. Yeah. This is yeah, nice. Oh, nice throw. no, oh, no, oh, no. It's okay. Oh, no. Uh, you got it, you got he it. Will, he but will now you, you showdown mode, and then just kill him with the knife, no? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> That's the good thing about That's showdown mode. You, you can take your time. You can just pause and then like rethink. <laughs> Did you just throw through the stone? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think so, but that's okay. Oh, I put him right so here. So I had another question. Sure. So it's like the Desperados anniversary, right? Mm -hmm. And um, we already like established that this is like a real-time tactics game, just like the first Desperados games. Mm -hmm. So, is it very similar to like the, fr the the original Desperados games in terms of gameplay, or what did you change a lot, or like w w do you think it's like it's a more modern approach, probably, right? Desperados yeah, I think so. We we played first. We played those old games, of course, and uh, there were some skills we really liked, and we thought uh, they could work in this time as mm -hmm. well, and there were. Uh, for example, McCoy, this old guy with the black coat, yeah. he had a lot of different type of skills back then. Mm -hmm. He had a balloon. You have, you can, you can, you can attach a poison uh, a flask on the balloon. The balloon flies away. It was Wait, really that complicated. Wasn't the first one? I think that was the first one. So he had Sounds a crazy. lot of <laughs> abilities that are really complicated. Yeah, I and see. In this era, I think most players and there are a lot of casual players yeah. and also hardcore players, and we we try to make the skills like more. Uh, how do you say it in English? Uh, <laughs> more like more straightforward. Yeah, simple, straightforward and easier to understand. Yeah. So most of the skills that are complicated, these these are skills we don't touch. Yeah. So we found new ways for McCoy. He still uses like poison uh, for his skills. Yeah. But the skills are simpler. Uh, like more easy to understand and yeah. to, to, to okay, cool. trigger. Yeah, so and what you already like mentioned, the showdown mode is something new, right? That, that wasn't in the first mm -hmm. games. So oh, that's something I basically Mimi me, me, me invented. Okay, now I made uh, a mistake. Okay. Did I you forgot. save? Oh, good. Yeah, of course, of course. It's very important to save. That's <laughs> why we also have like the save notification. Yeah, there's, on the screen. I, I think after two minutes or one you, minute. I think you can also adjust it. Like you can say, I, I don't want it at all. Mm. I'm good enough for this game. After a few minutes, or it gets really, yeah. uh, really yeah, animated. Yeah, it turns yellow <laughs> and red, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, save the <laughs> goddamn game. <laughs> it's important for our game, yeah. And that's why we made that notification over there. Okay. Okay, let's try that let's, guy let's wait uh, them. up there. Can I speed up the... There yeah, is you a can function, speed right? it up and... There is a function, but I can't find If you it. press left vision, mm -hmm. you see? Place marker. You can fast, fast forward, forward on that. Ooh, okay. That's good. Oh. 
I need my knife back, you know. You have to collect the knife again mm -hmm. after you kill somebody with it. Okay, so now the last part. We have to free him. Free him and then kill those two guys? Yeah, maybe we free him and hide uh, in these bushes and then yeah. we can kill them with a, with a showdown mode. Okay, let's say first. Uh, I think the best time to free him is when the guards are moving this way. So let's try this vision fast forward thing again. Where is this? Ah. La 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 la. Come on, come on, guys. Okay, Two. let's save. And then I jump down. So. Okay. Wait, what? So, what's the plan? You're just gonna like walk behind them and yeah. then. I have to save time, you know. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. that should so be good. How's that plan of yours looking nice. now? Where's okay, Hector? You, Come you on, you can Hector. Save again. There he is. So yeah, now we have like two characters, mm -hmm. and you can um, yeah plan plan your moves with two characters, and maybe like combine the skills, right? To like make a cool kill oh. or knockout. <laughs> I'm really happy about <laughs> that. <laughs> now. Okay, let's plan this. Okay, let's do this. And then I'm gonna ask you if um, like what what like you were the animation lead, mm -hmm. right? So you're responsible for all the animation three and the motion capturing also. Mm -hmm. So for you, what was like the biggest challenge when making this, or also maybe for the team, but well, probably specifically yeah. for you, the mocap. I think for the whole team, the we never did mocap before. Yeah. So this was the biggest new thing uh, mm -hmm. we ever did. And it was really risky because we, yeah, there were a lot of uh, things that went wrong. Mm. Um, we we gained a lot of experience, like prepare for a shoot. What's important for going to, we, we did it with take one in mm. Serbia. So what's important to prepare for this kind of mocap shoot? Yeah. Uh, and there are a lot of overhead things you have to do to prepare, like send props what is Cooper using for killing people? You have to send his props, his knife, his axe, or his uh, guns. Yeah. And uh, the guys in Serbia, they prepared the character for the mocap shoot. Yeah. And all these props need time to prepare. There's you know, a lot you have of to put stuff them, yeah, uh, these markers mm. on and stuff like that. Um, so we learned a lot about that. We learned a lot about uh, making cutscenes. It's mm -hmm. like. Um, it's crazy how many cutscenes scene we made mm -hmm. for this game. It's also something that was never done before in that genre, I think, like in that style. Not in that, uh, and like in that, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. scope, kind of. In like. that scope, it oh no, I did a mistake. I planned to go over there, but not to kill them. So let's try that, and then I can talk ag again about. <laughs> no, not again. You have to plan both. <sighs> you forgot to plan with Hector. No, okay. And then yeah. you walk over there, and you kill this guy okay let's okay, try should, should oh of course of course you're not running yeah you have to plan it well <laughs> sorry guys sorry guys let's try again okay let's save and then nice. yeah well easy no <laughs> bye 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 that's how you do it yeah that's basically it so we solved this area, I think, pretty well. Yeah, maybe we 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 will. Um, so we we're gonna go to the second area now, and maybe we will um, complete the objective there too. <laughs> I don't know if we still have time for that, but uh, where's the next objective? Ah, over there. Okay. La 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 la. Okay, a little cut. So um, you said you have an, a nice anecdote about Desperados 1 or something? Before we started. That was the anecdote I told like my uncle with this magazine. Ah, yeah. And these games are for free, you know. There is a CD-ROM. Like there was like a 
Oh, so you you got Desperados for free back then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it on was the I arrived, CD you said you on yeah. a magazine, and uh, my brother and I we we installed yeah. it and played it, and yeah, it was most of the time the games are not that well. Yeah. So you try it and then you and delete it. But Desperados was uh, a pretty amazing game. Was something I I played a lot and yeah. over and over again. Mm. Like I deleted it on my PC and then installed it again yeah. after a while, and that's something these games are. You can always get back okay. to the game and play it like so after a few years or a few months and it's a new experience you can ch choose to to solve this level yeah. a different way yeah. and yeah. Uh, it's really one of my favorite games so ever even loaded. <laughs> There's a box of okay so they are talking right now about the next objectives so we have to free uh, either kate or voodoo both are uh, in captive so we have to free them, and then we mean, have uh, Isabel, right? She's Isabel. the Isabel. She's the voodoo. She's character. the voodoo character. I call her voodoo because that's like the internal. Name. Like <laughs> yeah, um, that was her first fire like name. What was like the internal like the names? It was like voodoo, and then you have like we had trapper. Hector trapper, was the trapper the guy trapper. because yeah, yeah. we okay. we don't have the names right away yeah, because of course, writing yeah. of course mm. have to do uh, their work. Uh, so in the beginning of a project, you have a lot of prototyping, character models, and namings. Um, and that's something yeah. normal, yeah. I guess. And but yeah, the problem is the names are stuck into my head. So <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I'm using, um, still using. Actually, them. also I learned like the first thing I learned when I started here is like the code names for the levels, <laughs> and um, it was very difficult for me because when I talked, I don't know, to press or something, I have to actually use or like to the community, I have to use the actual names <laughs> of the levels, right? Because nobody yeah. knows what what we mean when we say uh, town. <laughs> yeah. Or I don't know what What's else. Like Blackstone. train. What's the Blackstone? Real name? Blackstone, Blackstone okay. is a town, for example. Okay. Then I you call have bridge. <laughs> or uh, I don't know. City. City one and what city two. Was it uh, New Orleans, of course. Right? New Orleans, okay. city one. Wow. And then a city two is like when like when it's raining and it's. Yeah. Um, What's you know, it called? City. Uh, <laughs> You New mean that the actual level? New Orleans. New Orleans. Whatever. Docks, I think. Ah, like okay. That? That's that's maybe the right. I so yeah, it's okay very difficult. I, I also like I know like all those like code names for levels basically. Where's the highlighter? So I'm really okay. The artists are going to kill me now. Um, our artists are not the biggest fans of of this highlighter. You can Why? switch the highlighter on, and you can see and read the level better. So here, yeah, but it's the good for mark. the players yeah, to of see where they I, like I really where the enemies I are. I really use uh, this function a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the artists have a problem because the game looks beautiful this way, right? Yeah, it looks. And really the highlighter is a UI. Yeah, it's yeah. it destroys some of the uh, feeling of no, the level. No, I think it look, it's you know. good. But I think the function is really <laughs> helpful. Yeah, but they are going to. Many kill. artists, <laughs> we think it's awesome, and <laughs> it just helps. I know. I think it helps the player to like sure. see where the enemies are, wh where they, where they can hide. I think they don't have something against it, the function, <laughs> but the way it looks, it's yeah. the main problem. But it's also something new, right? Like there was like the highlighter was not in Desperados One, I think, right? I don't remember really. I don't think so. But we yeah. we would have to go back and check. <laughs> Maybe they only have a highlight for enemies and not for the yeah. bushes and and interactive uh, stuff like doors and ladders. So um. Yeah, we, we would have to check <laughs> Desperados <laughs> 1 again. But, or you can check yourself. I mean, it's um, discounted right now in oh. the anniversary it's sale. On sale. Yeah, that's why we're doing this. It's Maybe the franchise the anniversary sale. I think it's like, it's, it's heavily discounted. I'm not sure how much, but I think mm -hmm. you get it really cheap. Maybe I will install it again. And I think you get <laughs> Desperados also. Um, I think... I don't want to lie, but I think it's 50% off. Okay. Um, so, because we're recording this before the sale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I'm not sure if that's the final discount mm -hmm. number, but I, I think it's going to be 50%. Yeah. So, amazing deal. <laughs> if you have played Desperados, you can get the whole franchise in Give a big a try. sale. You can like play the first one, the second one, and the, and uh. the third. <laughs> the second one is like <laughs> I would I would prefer the first one. Yeah, yeah. I think the our Desperados is also more based on the first yeah, one, yeah, right? Like yeah. I think the second one you can even We played all of them, mm -hmm. but uh, the first one had it all. Like it was, the atmosphere was great. Uh, the perspective, like the other games tried like uh, to change the camera perspective yeah. and move down and stuff like that. It's not, 
Yeah, and the second one is like third person. Nothing something the game needs. Yeah. You know? So the the game is really great in this perspective, and the features as well. Like the first one was nearly perfect in mm -hmm. my opinion. It's like also my opinion. Like um, maybe there there are some people out there who mm -hmm. enjoy the the mm -hmm. second and the third game, but my favorite is the first one. Yeah. And this one, of course. Um, yeah. So. I have another question I saw. I think that also fits you as <laughs> one of the artist guys. <laughs> okay. and, uh, it's like maybe you can answer it. So mm -hmm. um, in comparison to Shadow Tactics, right? It's like Desperado 3 um, looks more realistic in its graphics mm -hmm. style. Like, so can you explain a bit why why w why you chose to have a more like realistic mm -hmm. graphic style? Does it fit the overall Desperados franchise better? Or yeah, that's the reason, the main reason. Like, we played those uh, old games, and um, those old games were, like, they were 2D, mm -hmm. but um, really realistic mm. and, and had a lot of detail. Yeah. And Shadow Tactics is, it's, uh, has its own stylized uh, art style. Um, it, it's a little bit simpler to, to achieve. Like, yeah. this we, we were, like, I think 14 developer on shadow tactics and now we have uh, we had a lot of more uh, artists mm -hmm. and, and developers overall so it's easier to, okay, to cool. achieve a look like yeah. this uh, when you are more people of course um, but yeah and also Desperados is more cinematic even the first one had like these weird 3d cutscenes between uh, like levels. animated cgi yeah, yeah. Scenes, of yeah, cgi yeah, yeah. yeah there was cgi there were like, like i think there were cgi yeah. yeah i think four five i don't remember there were really like how many but, but i'm not sure like but yeah and uh shadow tactics was like concentrate on the gameplay yeah let's revive this gameplay first and uh the cine cinematic part it was like only dialogue cutscenes yeah. where they're like mm -hmm. moving their arms and talking to each other but here we had a lot of more cinematic appeal mm -hmm. and uh, the outside is also more realistic of course but okay now Chen, now you have to focus it looks again. beautiful okay yeah i mean i think actually like you can play every level and just like replay it again because there's so much so many details to see and just like be amazed by all the details you guys put in so let's that's what let's i love about like Shadow Tactics as well, but also Desperado yeah. 3, of course. Um, it's like you have those big maps full of like details, mm. and it's like you 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 play this 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 level like for two or three hours. Yeah, it depends on your skill. Yeah, or we, we we I think we would play it like in this constellation right now, probably for, for five seven, or six, seven, eight, <laughs> seven, eight hours. Eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really the best guy to to play and to talk, talk and at the same time, but yeah, yeah. The important part is uh, that. You are like playing this level for several hours, and it's important to to look around and find new stuff. Yeah, and that's that's because uh, that's how that's why we yeah. make them like uh, this detailed these maps. So Hector has different skills, of course. He has a a big trap called Bianca. Um, he has a whistle. He can lure people into Bianca, mm -hmm. and Bianca kills him. <laughs> and then he has his uh, shotgun and uh, the good stuff. He has a um, like a powerful alcoholic drink. <laughs> Only he can drink. Yeah, which gives um, he heals himself. He heals himself right? yeah. with this drink. But like, <laughs> he can't heal anyone else with it, right? Um, Because it he no. he's the only one who like can drink. It's almost like poison for everyone else. Yeah, but it's, it's like it's too too It's hot a stuff. power the good stuff. powerful good stuff juice for him. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I made a I mistake. Think I th ah, maybe I okay. can. Maybe I'm just gonna check our um, sure. stream while you try to get past those guards. Okay, let's try. Maybe I can solve this problem with Hector and Cooper. Let's try it. Let's save. And oh, oh, no, that's that's no good. They will find me. They will find me and they will kill me. Ah. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, no. Let's try. 
Yeah, so um, again, I just check. So <laughs> we have like the link for for Desperados Game dot mm -hmm. com in the like right like in the corner. Okay. Here? No, it's like here when I like when I sit here, I think. Okay. Um, and it's just funny because sometimes you don't see the <laughs> link because <laughs> you have the UI in the background. Oh really? <laughs> but oh. it's okay. It's okay. okay. So that's why I'm gonna repeat what mm -hmm. you can win and um, um, where you can win it. So you head over to desperadosgame.com, which is like the official website of Desperados, mm -hmm. and there are some rules and some info on how you can participate in the raffle. And what you can win is several things actually, like or different things. It's like you can either win the vinyl, vinyl of the soundtrack. I think it's a pretty amazing cover mm. um, and pretty amazing music um, made by, created by our dear friend and music guy. We call him music guy, I guess. Music and composer, guy. Filippo. <laughs> Filippo. 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 And um, yeah, then we have also very cool um, those displays of our main characters, there's like different ones. Yeah. There's also like you What's have this? a Cooper one, which one is it's Doc? McCoy. Maybe? Yeah, it's Doc. So you, you can have uh, you can win one of here. those. And you can also win the collector's edition of um, of Desperado 3. And this one is pretty amazing, I think, because mm -hmm. it includes maybe we can even unbox it. I'm not sure. Let's do that. Do you want to unbox do it? This. I can talk and unbox, of course. <laughs> it's better than playing and <laughs> talking, right? Like unboxing and talking. Ah, so let's see. Wait, so I'm just going to check um, the, the screen. We have to we have to do the full room view here. Ah, okay. You have to adjust the camera? Yeah. I mean, if it wouldn't be for COVID, I, we <laughs> would have like Toby sitting here in, um, in the background like doing... Yeah. Um, the directing basically and the tech. Now I'm all alone and I have to do it. So let's see. Because we can't be more than two people here. Um, Ooh, paper cover? Yeah, so let's just unbox it and then. Let's unbox it. Oh, oh this one is oh, also like. Uh, signed by everybody. Yeah, this one is signed. I don't think you will get a sign. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> because the one. You will win this uh, oh, the code. sent by THQ directly, our publisher for the game. Yeah, don't show the code. <laughs> yeah, you so can't get that. You, you will get like a Steam game code, activa activation code here. For, um, th ah, that's for the season pass and for the soundtrack, the extended soundtrack, wow. the digital soundtrack. Of course, the art then book. Yeah. Ah, as you can see, chapter one. Uh, the, the concept is made by Lucas, our concept artist. He made most of the concept, I think all of the concept. I don't know. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful concepts. Here about arch architecture, I think it's New Orleans architecture. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. <sighs> I have to go through that stuff again at home. Let's see. Music and this is like... This is basically the main the thing main you want, and the main prize in the collector's edition is uh, the the figurines. It's like a spinning music box mm -hmm. with exchangeable figurines, and the figurines are the main characters. Let's of open course. it. Yeah, let's open it. And mm. ooh, I never did an uh, unboxing Put before. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a first time for everything. Wow, Cooper. So yeah, you can show them uh, to the camera if you want to. Let's put them out. It's Cooper here. Oh, Kate. Um, we have Kate. We have our dear Isabel. I think, I think Isabel is my favorite character. With okay, Hec then with put Hector. her put her on the on with the Hector. I'm box. not sure. I think Hector is also very fun. Oh, Hector is beautiful. And that's Hector. Oh. I hope I hold it right. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's play the box. I guess oh, I have to. Can they hear it? 
it plays the main theme. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. It helps, I don't know, some people, maybe it helps you sleep. <laughs> For me, not. <laughs> it, not sounds, really. it sounds a bit, you know, in horror movies, you always have like music, <laughs> music, <laughs> music, like music like it's creepy before music. you get killed. <laughs> but uh, some, some find it calming. Like music uh, boxes like this. It's a little bit Western themed. Yeah. We wanted something uh, that is like Western yeah. themed. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. That's, this was the perfect choice yeah. for us. Um, yeah. And then we have the soundtrack on um, CD. Yes. Here it is with all the tracks. 33 tracks. Uh, it's not all of the tracks. I think <laughs> you get the extended soundtrack with the digital code. Mm -hmm. Here it's like a selection, a best of basically. But I think Filippo did over 70 tracks in total. What? Yeah, yeah. I think. This guy, man. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Unbelievable, <laughs> this guy. And that's the cool thing. It's um, in the game, you have those different musical cues, I think, right? Mm -hmm. For every character. Yeah. So if you do like a, an action with Cooper, you hear, I think, a guitar playing. I'm not sure, but and let's, let's try. So actually... <laughs> Filippo like recorded different like tracks for every character and every character has like a distinct instrument mm -hmm. and depending on what you do in the game or well, which character does like a knockout or like an action there's sometimes those musical cues playing but I think uh, I'm not sure if, if you <laughs> if you will hear it because I had to like turn down the volume you have a bit. to try it by themselves yeah just try <laughs> it by yourselves that's why what we're doing we want you so to um, check out the game yourself you can also play a demo of the game if you're not sure. Um, if you want to buy the game, we have a demo on Steam mm. on and other um, stores. Um, That's also something we did bef because of the old ones. Because back then, it yeah, was demo really was a thing, right? Really normal to to have a demo for a game to uh -huh. try it before you buy it. Yeah, and that's something we revived as well yeah. with Shadow Tactics. We said, hey, let's give the people the game in yeah, their hands. I mean let's let's. Cool. They, sh they should try it first. So and then try, try the demo, yeah. and if you like it, then buy the game. These are the postcards, yeah. right? So different postcards. I don't think we want to. We don't have to spoil, okay. spoil uh, everything. The fun. <laughs> oh, of course, the game. And then the game. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I said, okay. That's wow. the game. Oh. Yeah, that's the uh, collector's edition. You can win this, and I think what ah. you can also win is the... Um, Desperados 3, smallest collector's I will edition. Take it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's basically a small version of the big one. And um, like I said before, <laughs> I think <laughs> we broke it. Never right? seen this small uh, collector's edition. I'm before. also. Oh, wait, how Let's can I open this? this? Oh, yeah. it's here. It's a bit stuck. Oh, no. Nah, Which I got it. I got it. Who, where? Um, you got it? Yeah. So you can win this smallest collector's edition. Wait, I'm holding my mask in the hand too. <laughs> you can't win the mask. <laughs> um, Oppa. Oh, it falls. Yeah, that's, falls. That's, that's what happens when it falls down, of course. It's a bit broken. I'm sorry. Um, you don't get this one. No, you get a new one, of course. <laughs> and very, it's very limited, actually. Like There's only a couple of those smallest. How many? I don't know how many, but I, I probably not more than 15 or something. Or wow. three, but it, maybe I'm lying right now. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's limited. Even our team it's members. It's actually limited. Yeah, we have, have only have one. Yeah. This is the only one we got. Like So yeah. it's very limited. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Playing again. This is the smallest collector's edition. It's difficult to hold, but you have also like a very small art book. And like the basically the art book is like... Tiny, the really tiny really version. Small. <laughs> and you have, I think, small fi figurines of the characters. And this is also very fun. You have the, this is like, uh, how do you call it? Like, um, bullets. Bullets, yeah. Right. Bullets. bullets. And, but the bullets, it's no actually way. a USB uh, drive. I didn't know that. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Maybe I have to get my hands on that collector's edition. Yeah, um, if it disappears tomorrow, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> oh, uh, my telephone is ringing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I I'm think sorry. we we can conclude the stream as anyways. It's yes. been already an an hour almost. Um, yeah. I hope the ga uh, 
We just wanted to show you a bit of the game. If, I mean, it's, it's difficult <laughs> <bit> to talk <laughs> and um, play. Actually, um, I had Dom planned for today, but um, he's not in the office today. So, so I had to, I had to jump in for him. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's we don't have a lot of people in the office, anyways, because of <laughs> uh, the pandemic, of course. But hey, it's more. I though. think it's it's better for the people out there to get more infos about the game, about the yeah, yeah, I, about yeah, of course. The, the I mean, you can game. watch all the gameplay trailers, yeah. and I, we had we did a, even a, better. You can try the game by yourself with the demo or buy it yeah so i don't have to play it and show you you can so watch videos and play it yourself. so what you want to do now after you watch this stream download with, the with demo. Chem, um download the demo try out the demo if you when you like it you can buy the game now <laughs> um, with for a like, uh, like a discounted discount so um, great offer. You can buy it as a whole. I think franchise, Desperado franchise anniversary package, and and then you can also go to desperadosgame.com and mm -hmm. uh, participate in a in the raffle to maybe win a collector's edition or some of these items there, like the vinyl ah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. Can I pers participate as well? No, it's. Uh, Sorry, me, 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 um, <laughs> colleagues and THQ colleagues are excluded from the <laughs> <laughs> raffle. I already got this one. But yeah. that one, I'm really interested in. Okay. Maybe Let's we can ask THQ because up. you did like the, the, the stream today. Yeah, maybe they, they will. <laughs> maybe they we will can like ask, hey, Chem well. was so good doing that stream. Um, okay. Great. Well, thanks for watching and. Um, See you bye bye next time <laughs> whenever that is <laughs> bye adios